we are going to be studying about chemical equilibrium. Are you excited? Well, you should be. This topic, like most in chemistry, can be best understood by observing the world around us. In most cases, we tend to assume that every chemical and physical change always ends up in completion. A reaction is considered complete when all reactants turn into products. In reality, however, most chemical reactions do not achieve completion. Instead, the products that form tend to react back again to form reactants. After some time passes, no further changes take place. At this point, the quantities of the products and the reactants become constant, and it appears that the reaction stops. In reality, reactions do not stop. It instead takes place in both directions at an equal rate. This is what is called an equilibrium state. These reactions are known as reversible reactions. So guys, the term equilibrium tends to make us think of the word balance. This balance may be attained in several different ways and is also essential to the way we live. An example is the equilibrium that exists in our atmosphere. We breathe in oxygen and breathe out carbon dioxide. Plants in turn consume carbon dioxide and release oxygen. The equilibrium in this natural process is essential for the existence of life on the earth. It's pretty interesting how this very simple concept controls so many processes in our world. Several environmental systems are dependent on the existence of the equilibrium phenomenon. An example would be the concentration of gases in the lake water. The equilibrium of dissolved oxygen in water is essential to maintaining a healthy atmosphere for aquatic plants and animals. With all this information, we can safely conclude that the process of equilibrium is particularly exciting because it can be observed all around us.